in this episode, which is my third episode of Minog 2, I'm actually going to do something exciting and advance the plot. So let's go advance the plot. This may involve a lot of conversations with Gomatorin, which may involve a lot of practicing voicing female characters, which will be hard, but it's something I need to do a lot of practicing of, so gotta get to work, I guess. Yeah, it's really difficult because your voice has to be... Like, the head voice is about the right range, but it's gotta have a certain eeriness to it that my voice doesn't really have. See, can I go farther this way? I'm gonna explore over here before I uh, do too much conversation with these guys. Okay, so this is this this is a uh, from the uh, Bow Rock animations. Yeah, uh, beware! And then there's a picture of Krana. I forgot. I don't actually remember the Krana names. <laughs> so I have like holes in my uh, in my nerd knowledge, but that's the squad leader, I believe. Does some power? Okay, so that's that's a reference to the end of the Bow Rock animations. Uh, that's the uh. Bo rock nest. Okay, let's talk to Tepu. But he's wearing a Kakama for no a Makari for some reason. So differently modeled than than normal Tepu, and differently colored too from a nog, I believe as well. He looks like he looks actually like a what's the uh, the Poetor's name? Hafu. He looks more like Hafu than Tebu. Anyway. Hello. It is always so bright here by the sea. The waves are so loud. It is very pretty, though. Do you have anything for a headache? Hello, Hafu. I am not Hafu. I am Tebu. Why does everyone think that I am Hafu and he is me? We are not even from the same village. Because your design is Hafu's, not Tepu's. From Monog. I guess they reference that. Headache? When we left on Ukoro, Turago Winua said we can win if we use our heads. When the ball is headed for the goal, it is my job to stop it. So I use my head. <laughs> Onupu says that is not what he meant. Okay, I like this. This is good. We have been practicing a lot. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, let's talk to someone who's a little bit has more of a head. <laughs> Look, Tepu. It is one of the to oh, one of Toagali's water maidens. Good day to you, Gamatori. I hope you are well. Who are you? <laughs> oh, that was that was too. Don't talk like this. Is too cheesy. They get like a head voice. I am Onupu. Except, I'm Anapu. High Commander of the Yusa, the Usulri, veteran of the Makuta Wars, right hand of Turaga Winua, and champion, coolie forward of Anukoro. At your service, my lady. He's kind of talking like a Limator, but okay. So they do give these guys, um, like, pretty person- make these guys very personality, which is good. What are you doing here? Oh, you have noticed that our humble accommodations do not suit my station. Do not fret, good lady. I am as rugged as any Anumatoran. Besides, we remain only until we have won the Kuli match for Anukoro. Then we shall journey home to receive accolades befitting a returning champion. Goodbye. Farewell. Perhaps we shall meet again one day in the halls of great Anukoro. Of course, Anupu just gets curb stomped by all the other teams. We won't mention that. <laughs> so, in program, this, let's see, this sign says, um, Old F U S A, Old Fusa Path. Um, which I don't know if that, again, it's one of those things where this is something, a new thing the game introduced. Um, is it canon? I don't know.
Okay, I lost the audio for this part, so I'm recording an overdub of it. Um, Hello, Harley, our new Koli champion. What an honor. I'm making rope as fast as I can. Maybe you can. And then I stop here and probably complain about... I don't know, I can't do a good sailor voice or a female sailor voice. Or I talk about the old Fusa Trail and how... Um, Takua didn't seem to have that resource open to him. He had to use other means of travel. And if we say that Monog takes precedence over Monog 2 in canon, that means the old Fusa Trail is not canon. It's just a gameplay mechanic to make it so that you can explore the island. I don't know, something like that. Um, yeah. I mean, it was supposed to be old, right? If it, if it were old then it should have been around when Takua was doing Minog because that was only about a year ago. Or even less than a year ago. Help! Let's see what I select next. I don't remember everything I said the first time I recorded this. Fast? If you want to improve your speed, you should talk to me. Sailors are very speedy. Man, I said something over this. <laughs> Sailors? Gamatorn are famous for their speed. When the water is pure, you can go very fast in the open sea. From purity comes speed. Here, take my charm. It represents speed. It is very old, maybe it will bring you luck. And so we got the speed charm, whatever that does. Speed? The fastest thing I ever saw was the Takia shark, deep beneath the sea. It's terribly dangerous, but legend, legend has it that the Takia will teach its speed to anyone that can catch it. Legend has it. Yes, it's become kind of a meme now, due to something called... Well, catch it? You can find it in the coordinate C9, way out at sea, I bet. Pelagia can take you there. It's called, uh, rev not Reviving Bionicle, that was something different. I'm Kai the Sailor. As everyone knows, sailors make the best rope. It's called Bionicle Revolution, there we go. And string too, good rope is hard to find. If you've got any flax, I can make us some. Um, no sailor should ship my rope too, no sailor should uh, ship port without it. Sure, if you give me flax, I can make us some string. With string, I can make rope. Which will it be? Um, goodbye. I guess I didn't want to make any string. Okay, so the sailor thing wasn't that hard, except I did that very male-voiced. Yep, I got, I'm showing that I got the speed charm. Um, Kai is a female sailor. Okay, um, this is the History of Coley, Part 4. Um, during the time of the Bow Rock uh, swarms, the game evolved into what is now called Coley. Many attributes, many attribute this changing of the game to an incident that occurred during the Par Parok invasion of Gakoro when Hyuki used a Gamatoran fishing stick to save Maku from a falling rock. Since then, players have adopted the use of the Coley stick, and the rules have been changed to accommodate it. Yeah, I forgot if that's actually in the uh, Borog animations or not. It might actually have been. Looks like I took a little bit, uh, didn't take as long to read this as I did last time when I was recording this, uh, visual because, well, it's still on the screen.
the voice uh, dubbing effect where like I'm re I, I read these things aloud but then because this is my second time reading them I'm going to be better at it so there's going to be all this dead time where I just, we're just looking at these looking at these write-ups and not moving on Anyway, I wonder what Kai's ship is called. I assume he doesn't even have a ship because he's not the shipwright, right? He's a sail, but he has to sail on something. I can't figure out a good pun on Destiny's Bounty. I mean, call it Unity's Bounty? Man, that was so slow. This is really awkward. <laughs> okay, finally moving on. Let's talk to Sashasa. I'm glad you were chosen to be Koli Champion, Holly. I am sure you will honor Gakoro and Matanui. Did you want... Some weaving? Weaving? Sailcloths, nets, that sort of thing. Weaving teaches a lot about unity. Unity? Unity is what makes a fishing net strong. Unity is what we strive for in Gakoro. We depend on it to do our work. If the weaver's reeves are not united, the cloth is weak. If the sailor's flax is not united, the rope is frayed, and only united together can the people of Gakoro speed their works of purity. Work? The Great Spirit charges us with the task of keeping the waters pure, but the sea is boundless, and the lakes and rivers flow endlessly. Alone I can't do what is asked, but united we can do it. United we can pick up plastic pollution. <laughs> From unity comes purity. Marka the shipwright knows more about purity if you're interested. Who are you? I am Shasa, the weaver. What do you work on? I weave nets, sailcloth, and rigging. I can use I could use help making them. I need ten string for a net, so many seaweed for a sailcloth, for a rigging I need two ten rope, twenty bamboo wood, and five nets. Goodbye. Golly's wisdom go with you. Yeah, Shasa would be a fan of rebel nature, I presume. And she gave us the unity charm. Okay, without actually saying she was going to give us a charm, but it appeared in the inventory. The History of Koli, Part 1. The first Koli, the first game of Koli on Mata Nui was, um, Taraga on Anuwa's and Turaga Winua's idea. It was intended to settle a dispute between Anumatoran miners and Pomatoran carvers. After a comment from Anu from one of the miners about the quality of let's see certain carvings. I don't know how much thought was put into that story. That sounds good. It's very uh, lame. And this refrain is for some reason is often repeated in Bionicle. This idea, let's just settle this dispute with a game. Um, not actually like figure it out like with reason you now someone just made a joke Ga Gakoro Koli Field okay
Kailana says, Hello, Holly. What's it like to be our new Koli champion? Can you believe Nokama chose you? You'll have to train, probably. Uh... You'll have to train hard. I'm happy to make a Koli stick for you if you need one. Who are you? I am Kailani, the craftswoman. I can make all kinds of tools for you if you bring me the materials. What tools? Fish hooks, sickles, hatchets, Koli sticks. Fish hooks? They're good for a lot of things, including fishing, of course. To make one, all I need is a cowrie shell. Sickles? You can use sickles to put haraiki, harakiki and other plants. To make one, I need 20 bamboo wood and 5 cowrie. Shells. There are no other plants. Hatchets are good for cutting wood. To make one, I need 10 bamboo and 10 cowrie shells. For playing Koli, of course. To make one, I need a bamboo pole, a net, and a fish hook. Can you make something for me? Sure, I need one cowrie shell per fish hook, 20 bamboo wood, and 5 cowrie shells for a sickle, 10 bamboo wood, and... 10 cowrie shells for a hatchet. For a coley stick, I need a bamboo pole, a net, and two fish hooks. I'd like a coley stick. Of course. Of course, champion. One moment. Here you go. So Kailani just takes the fall for you on supplies. Um, if you want a coley stick after the time limit. I got two fish hooks there for, like, the Anukoro thing. They'll come up when I do Onukoro. It suggests that they planned on having the sickle be useful for other plants of Oyanui, but that never comes to fruition. Hello, Holly. I guess you are champion forward after all. You may be as skilled as I am one day, but... If you're so skilled, why didn't Nokama choose you? But beware, fear and doubt can poison your mind and your skill. Poison? Poison is the opposite of purity. Will you trade with me? I can carve you a pole. If you want, all I need is 15 bamboo wood. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, poison to me just looks like poison with one S. Um, Cooley rule number one. Teams n number more than one, but no more than six. This is kind of stressful because I feel like I'm a time limit to like read these, but I'm I'm keeping up with the time limit very well. Oh come on! Finish reading this already. Did I say my name in this? Oh, I have to edit that out of the audio now. Anyway, any any pitch, any. Pitch Invasion by Rahi or other beasts um, postpones the completion of the game until the problem is dealt with. I still don't understand what pitch invasion means, but okay. Oh, come on, finish reading this. Any players, any player who does not play well brings dishonor to their village. And then I wait again for me to figure out what that says. Any player who strikes another player did not play well. Shield and staff strikes are exempted from this rule as these indicate the player the players are playing well. So just you're allowed to hit the other player just not with your hands or just not with your body. Okay. You're allowed to hit them with a stick? That, how is that better? 
Yes, of course, I'm flipping through these backwards because I, could, I didn't figure out, like, which way, how to flip through, like, which, how to flip through them which way until I got to the end of this. This is rule number, I believe, nine. <laughs> Cooley rule number eight. Any number of Coley balls may be played, but balls in play must never must okay there's a typo here in play must never less than that's a typo must never be less than is what's supposed to be um eight great great must eight greater than, can't be more than eight can't be more than eight the number of teams no There's just a type. There's typos in there. It just should be never be greater than the number of teams, or the number of players, which doesn't make any sense per team. Um, okay. Okay, that make it makes sense, but it's not written correctly. Um, whichever is the smaller number. Okay. So if you're two on two with two teams, you can't play with more than two balls. It'll wait till, for me to finish reading this typo laden rule. <laughs> no, it's an either, isn't it? It's less than either than. Okay, it's fine. Yep. But there still should be a B there. So, must never be less than either the number of players or the number of players per team. Num okay. Number of teams, the number of players per team. Cooley rule number seven. All players may carry one Coley stick, one Coley staff, and one only. <laughs> Coley rule number six. Um, each team is allowed one defendant, defender who may carry a shield but no other player may use that shield other than in cases of 11th rule <laughs> okay I get it Coley roll number five. All goals are good goals, provided that they are not O W N goals. They're not own goals, <laughs> as own goals are not goals. Well, in this game, if you score on yourself, it it makes a goal. So I don't know what they mean by own goals but the 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 way the gameplay works in this RPG is you score on yourself you get scored on so it may not be following this rule if that's what they meant by this rule that self goals were not real were not good goals maybe they mean you can score a goal on everybody's goal but your own right if you score on your own then you just score against yourself um, Cooley rule number four. The first team to um, reach the number of goals. Oh, basically, it's the first team to reach the number of pre agreed upon goals is the winner. I read that way faster last time. Um, all teams agree to the number of goals needed for victory. And this game does not operate like that. Teams may include any number of players greater than one, but no team will 
have more players than any other team. Um, this game, there's a time limit, and however many, whatever team gets more goals than the time limit wins. So the how the game play mechanics in the video game work don't resemble the uh, story perfectly. Cooley roll number one. Um, team teams named n number more than one, but no more than six. And then we get back to roll number eleven, and then I figure out how to scroll through them the correct direction. <laughs> Okay. Oko Okos bargain barter. You want it, we got it. And vice versa. Except he doesn't have it, which is ironic. If you're looking for a barter, stocks are a bit low until the merchants can get into town. I'm Okos, the trader. If you're looking to barter, this is the place. Widgets? Haven't you got any? They're very useful. You can trade widgets for lots of things. Barter? A, tr a trade for widgets. Will you trade for with me? All I can trade right now are air bladders for swimming. There are five widget seats. I'm afraid nothing else. there's nothing else to trade until the merchants get back into town. Here we go. Okay, so I'm buying three air bladders here. Um... Yeah, that uh, stocks are a bit low thing. I'm recording this in late 2020, so this is the time where graphic stock of graphics cards is a bit of a problem. If anybody will ever remember that. I mean, it happens every once in a while. It happened, uh, well, anyway. Hi, Holly. I guess we're teammates now. I know you've never played before, but I trust Taraga no Kama. I can help you with your game. Just ask. I'd like to practice. If you're going to get good at Koli, you need to train in all the skills. I've heard of, of a Gamatorin that knows about speed. You should look around. Maybe you can find her. It's Kai. I want I want to know more about Koli. I'll help any way I can. Ask away. Do you need any equipment? We use a Koli stick to play now. It's kind of a new thing. It's important to have a Koli stick. Kailana can make a new one for you if you give her the materials. Actually, you don't even need the materials. Some wood is better than others, but you don't have to choose because all the wood is the same. Kailani makes all kinds of things. Her hut's in the town square. Wood. You should ask about it to find out what the best materials are for a Koli stick. What are the rules of Koli? The rules are simple. Get the ball and get it in the enemy's team's goal. You can use your head body and only thing you can't use is your hands. You can also use your stick. All the tournament matches are played with two teams and two goals. Uh, be played with three teams, three goals. That's harder, but it's a long time, so you don't have to worry about that yet. Man, I read this fast. There can be any number of players as long as the teams are even. All the tournament matches have two players per team. What positions are there? I'm goalkeeper and you're forward. How do we win? There are four quarters. The team that has the most goals by the end of the fourth quarter is the winner. If you, it's tied, though, it can go into overtime. Nothing happens at the boundary between those quarters. It's like just arbitrary lines. It might as well be just one time period. Who do we play? Anupu and Tapu, the team's from Anukoro. Are the team from Koro are here to play a match. They're camped near the beach. Where do we play? We play at the Koli Pad, south of the town square. When do we play? When you're ready, go tell Taraga no Kama. She will send words to the Anamatoran team to meet us at the Koli Pad. I'm ready whenever you are. Can I practice? To be great at Koli, you need to improve all six of your skills. It is rumored that masters can be found in the wildernesses of Mata Nui, but I don't know where. If you find them, maybe they can teach you. How can I get better at Koli? We believe we Gabatorn believe that speed is the way to victory. If you can learn the secret of speed, by the way, there might be some around Ga, Ga Koro that can help you get faster. And don't forget to teach me any tricks you learn. Do you have any advice? The Anumatoran have incredible stamina. They can play for hours without ever getting tired, but they're so slow. I visit Huki and Pokor every now and then. He's the best Koli player in all of Matanui. We spend a lot of time together, together playing Koli, of course. 
I would say that kind of implies that they're kissing, but, you know, these characters don't even have lips, so... <laughs> I'll be in my hut with Taraga no Kama if you need me. The History of Koli Part 2. Um, the, the Pomatoran um, took ex, ex exception exception to the remark and blamed the miners for poor quality stone. The disagreement escalated until rocks uh, shovels and hammers started flying <laughs> between the two camps forcing the Taraga to step in and put a stop to the commotion so it's very like short a very short term riot kind of thing like someone said some smack and then someone said something back and then they suddenly everybody started punching each other in this big mosh pit That is kind of realistic. It took me a long time to read this, apparently. Oh, okay, I finished. Let's see. Okay, I'm about... Not quite half an hour in yet. Hmm, latitude is 15, longitude. Hmm. Eh? Who are you? I am Nureta, the navigator. I make maps and charts. Navigator, the walls of stars is my guide at sea. That is, if I have a chart. Wall of stars. In Takoro stands the wall of history. In Kokoro, the wall of prophecy. In Gakoro, our wall is above us. The great blanket of stars that stretches over Mata Nui, floating in the endless sea. Chart. I make maps and charts. If you've been sailing, I'm sure you'd find them handy. If you've ever been sailing. What lies beyond the sh it's unknown what lies beyond the shores of Matsudui. Well, one thing does, and that's Voyanui. Um, the rest is just a whole planet full of ocean. Well, I've only got a few. I'll part with one for, say, five widgets. I'll take it. Here you go. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a lot of work to do. <coughs> Goodbye. So then I look at the map, and I see that Holly is the assistant... And then it has everybody else's name and occupation. The Coley Field. Um, Kota Attendant. Okoth. The uh, Trader. Yeah, I don't really look at this too long. You could pause the video to look at it if you wanted to. Uh, it just has everybody's name and occupation and where they're located. It's also not used for anything. Uh, this is the history of Coley Part 5. Coley has become a staple of Matoran life and a great occup occupation for... Celebration. Oh, great occasion for celebration. <sighs> that, that didn't make sense, did it? Many be uh, believe it to be a fitting representation of the three virtues of unity, duty, and destiny. It is particularly important 
to the Pomatoran that have become undisputed champions season after season. Pohatu, the Toa of Pokoro, is the patron Toa of Koli. He got that done. I said in the original that got lost that um, what makes these ch what makes this the most challenging to read is that in English you have word shapes, right? You have taller letters and shorter letters and letters that stick down and so on. So you can recognize words fast by what their shape is. These words don't have any real shapes; they're just all circ all circles. It, uh, it's hard to learn how to read a language with no word shapes quickly. Or substitution code with no word shapes, that is. Ga Koro Shipyard. Nobody here. I don't believe there's ever anybody there, so you don't have to worry about that. So, you are new Kuli champion. Well, stranger, things have happened. Best of luck. I suppose that now you've got Kuli to train for. You won't be off fetching supplies from my shipyard. Who are you? I am Marka, the shipwright. If you need a boat, I'm your girl. But don't ask me about it now. I'm trying to get a hold of some supplies. I'm trying to get a hold of a graphics card. <laughs> Good shipbuilding is an art. Maybe someday I'll make you one. Shipyard? These boats are built for speed. They are made from very pure materials. Pure? Unity grants purity. Purity is what we strive for in Gakoro. It's our job to keep the waters pure. Make something about your mind is pure. You can have visions like Taraga no Kama. Oh my goodness. I didn't finish reading that in time. That's how the, that's how it goes. Um, here, since you're so interested in purity, take this stone. It bears a symbol of purity. I found it once, a long time ago, while cutting wood near the falls. Maybe it can help you somehow. Speed comes from purity. I can use only the purest wood and seaweed in my boats. If you want to know more about purity, you should talk to Kai, the sailor. Or more about speed, I would believe. No kidding, great. I'll barter one widget for a rope or a sailcloth. Reading is worth 30 per. Goodbye. Grunt. So, yeah, 30 for a rigging is a ripoff because you can get much more, many more widgets in other Koros for a rigging. We can also see here that Golly was the, Holly's the slave. Okay, Gakoro, fishing, uh, ferrying. And so we have um, ferry to Pokoro, ferry to Takoro, and they're both closed. So those are the two routes that Takua took in Minog. Yeah, so Holly's the slave, she runs errands for people. Who are you? I am Pel Pelagia, I run the ferry. Ferry? I can take you to any other village. I can't take you to any other villages right now on account of the storms. Uh, but I can take you deep sea diving if you wish. Deep, sometimes Toagali swims there to care for it and keep it pure. And there are things in the darkness of the deep. If you wish to dive, I suggest you take some air bladders with you. Air bladders? Every Gamatori can run out of air. Even Gamatori can run out of air if they dive down deep enough. Um, Okos has some for sale. Um, if you have greater stamina, then you can hold your breath for longer. Um, which means you can train stamina, and then your your uh, oxygen doesn't run as fast. Ferry service costs a widget. Point out on my C chart where you want to go. Uh, agreed, okay, and I want to go to C9. So I find C9. A, B, C, what, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. <laughs> I have no idea how I'm going to dub over this part. Yeah, so this game, basically you just try to click at a certain pace, and that pace at which you click, you find by trial and error, right? If you click too fast, Holly moves slower. If you don't click fast enough, Holly moves slower. Um, it's all about patience and pacing. Um, I found that you can get six 
um, speed points, I guess you can call them, um, without using any air gliders. But for some reason, when I went into this, from previous experience, I thought you could only get three. So on my fourth try, I automatically used an air bladder. <laughs> and hence wasted an air bladder. Yeah, and later on I'm going to have to make an entire episode of this. Uh, so i got to figure out how to uh, do the audio for that particular episode. I mean, I, pretty much whatever I do, um, it's not really going to be watchable because it's just going to be this rhythmic clicking for hours. <laughs> but if you're watching it, at least you're not the person who has to do it. Probably just have to make up on the fly some non copyrighted music. <laughs> just try to make it as silly and stupid as possible. Oh no, I'm gonna run out of air, and then I probably wasn't going to run out of air. Yeah, I'm bored too. Incredibly bored. I had to, I should have prepared something to do while this part of the video was going. <laughs> like just sitting here wasting time.
Yeah, I have no idea if this Templar music is original or not. I know when I was uh, doing the frock animations, I was making fun of them and saying, this music just cannot be original, especially during that uh, AVAC part, where you play the second interactive challenge. Because um, it just didn't sound like it could possibly be original. There might have been someone who composed it who I just insulted. Um, or did give proper credit to. Um, it's kind of hard to believe that someone could come up with what we just saw there. And it wasn't some sort of transcription of something. And they, the, the, how, their job was just to write music for Templar. That's kind of like a lame job for them to have if they could write something like that. Yeah, if you haven't picked up on it already, I said that this music is good. The History of Coley, Part 3. Um, to resolve it, they devised a comp... Uh, a competition according to 10 rules. Um, no, 10 simple rules. The 11th rule of, uh, or so-called, um, new rule was established when some uh, fields began to suffer pitch invasions by dangerous Rahi. The ga the goal was further explained. Oh, the rule is the ra the yeah okay whatever. The rule is further explained. With the Anukoro ADD addendum after an invasion involving the local usselry during a M O U L T E D mounted um, crab match. So they played Coley while on crabs. In other words, they played polo. Let's see, it's the rule was further e-explained with the Anukoro okay addendum after an invasion experience incident involving the local usselry during a okay during a crab mounted match okay now we can get we get find Nixie's key on the floor of no common so we just kind of sneak up and grab it which is like Naughty, so it'd be a naughty girl. Do not disturb, and then we will proceed to disturb like a naughty girl. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, the assets proceed off the side of the screen like that. It's obnoxious. Okay. Golly, save us. Huh? Who? What are you doing in my laboratory? <laughs> I just barged in. Um, who are you? I am Nixie. This is my private astral laboratory. I am very busy studying the wall of stars. 
Who do you think you are? I'm Holly. Holly, the assistant flax maker? Now, where have I seen that name before? My name? Oh, I know. Hmm. I am oblivious. What are you doing? I'm working on the formula. Something is stirring. I don't know what, but the stars are making strange patterns, and there are storms like in the old days. Formula, the stars are very precise. The first part is easy. The first letter of the patron Toa of Unity. The second part is harder. Start by multiplying the villages by the principles they follow. Add the great spirit, so, and his banished brother, and also the Toa Kaita. Finally, add the, th the virtues. Subtract one for the chronicler. Um, I already forgot all of this stuff. Uh, you're supposed to, when you divide by the number of Toa, so after you subtract one for the chronicler, you're supposed to get 42. Uh, and then you divide by the number of Toa, and it's like, okay, you divide by the number of Toa, and you get 7. Um, I don't know, it's very strange. I wish to return to the beginning. Are you sure? No, I don't, because that restarts the game. Very well, then. I don't know if it still does in the download version there, though. We'll get back to Nixie's formula, like, at the, uh, la like, the last segment, and then we'll actually fully flesh it out and explain how it's supposed to work. I don't know of anybody that actually used Nixie's formula to achieve its intended purpose, though. You will probably just like try to, well, you know, we'll get, we'll get there when we get there. Why'd you choose me? I looked in the waters for answers, and to my surprise, the face in the water was yours. How can I get ready? Train, and you will be ready. Train? You can train with Mator and all over Gakoro and the other villages. I'm ready to face the team from Anukoro. Then I shall call the match. Good luck, Holly. Goodbye, goodbye. I forgot to try. I forgot to try to voice. Forgot to try to voice no comma. The Toa squabble like a cool bird over a berry. No wait, that's Aniwa. <laughs> oh well. Trying to play Coley while walking with Nixie's key in my hand. And we're off, and uh, Anuwa grabs, uh, what's his face? Anuwa grabs the ball first, but then tries to re-catch the ball. He has no aim, and the ball goes right through him. He grabs the ball right from in front of Holly, and he almost gets it in, but his aim just wasn't quite good enough. And Holly picked it up and tried to pass it, Baku picked it up and tried to pass it back to Holly, but, well, Holly wasn't fast enough to get it, and Anuwa eventually got it instead. And Anuwa again has no aim. And Maku managed to save again. Nice save, Maku. And Maku scores a goal from the goalie side. And Holly gets the ball right out, right off the spawn and scores a goal. So that's 2-0 now. Onupu's in serious trouble. All of his uh, big tucking. You really have to do something quick to. Oh! To live up to what he said he was going to live up to. And Anapu can't aim again. Oh, Anapu finally gets one. Holly just beats on Anupu until Holly can get the ball from him, but Holly fails to score because Tepu act Oh Tepu might have had a little too much to drink there. Maybe after this he'll claim that really he really was Hafu. It was Hafu in disguise pretending to be Tepu.
Oh, we'll take at least Tapu does a save there to make up for it. Oh, things are getting kind of violent. And Maku's waiting for Holly to get clear, but Holly's not going to be clear because she's not moving anywhere. Because Holly's trying to stall out the game because she already has enough points to win. And Anupu just, just stupidly is just kind of rubbing up behind her. Just never, just, you won't move. Come on, people, move. Do something. This is really funny looking. <laughs> and basically it will stay like this and I was run out the clock like I just ran out the clock sitting here because I already had enough point add more points than Anipu this is so unrealistic what would the crowd say about this afterwards Maku did all the work, but oh well. I scored one goal. Maku scored one goal, I scored one goal, and one of them was Hafu's, no, Tepu, who looks like Hafu, scoring on himself. <laughs> Um, and that's all, so I have to go do quite a bit of editing to get this all to work.